Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you the fighting style tier list for update 20. Now this is before the dragon rework. The newest fighting style is Sanguine Arts. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It's free to do so and really helps me out. Let's get straight into the video. So starting off, we have the basic combat right here. Now, because it's the thing you start off with and it's for free and it hasn't been changed since a bajillion years ago. It's going straight into S tier. No, F, F, bad. Alrighty. So next we have Dark Step. Now Dark Step is very decent for farming in this first C, but if you're trying to do something like PVP, it is absolutely atrocious. So I will put it in D tier just because of how cheap it is. And it's a prerequisite for Dark Step as well. So any of these first C ones you kind of need to get in order to get the better ones. But yeah, I think Dark Step deserves a D. Whoa, that's whoa, that's not what I meant. Next we have Electric. Now Electric is quite interesting. It's a first C fighting style, but the moves are really quite bad. The only move that I would say is decent would be the C move, which is the electric floor, but you're locked into place while you use that. The stomp and the dash are both extremely bad. For that reason, I'll be putting it in D tier below dark step because it is more expensive and I think just not as good. Next, we have water kung fu. So Water Kung Fu is the last fighting style you can buy in the first C. It is the most expensive, costing 750,000 belly. And I think rightfully so, it is actually pretty decent. It's got a ranged move for the water droplets, it's got the water punch, and then a mobility move. So for farming, I think it's pretty good. Given the range that all the moves have, and the water droplet moves don't knock back the opponents, whereas the other two moves do. And it's a prerequisite to some other ones like Shark Man Karate, which I think is very nice. So I'll go ahead and put that in the C tier. And now we're moving on to the second C fighting styles. So the first one we'll be talking about is Dragon Breath. Now this fighting style I just want to say is absolutely terrible. You need to pay 1,500 fragments for it, but it is just really bad. Yes, it's a prerequisite to Dragon Talon up here, but the moves are just below par. The first one is a mobility move that is alright. The second one is a really bad projectile. And the third one is an AoE that locks you in place for a long time before you explode. And it's just bad for what you pay. Because of that, I'll probably just put it right behind Water Kung Fu. I may even put Dark Step above it, but I'm not sure at the moment. Next is Death Step, which is the upgrade to Dark Step. So Death Step, you need a lot of money about 2.5 million belly and 3,000 fragments along with 400 mastery in dark step to unlock this now it is definitely much better at farming and way better at pvp than dark step i think it is very nice especially since you can hold the z move to go further the x move is almost instant projectile and the C move is a really nice barrage and you can like set your legs and attacks on fire, which is really good. But the C move, the barrage, is only going to point down at any time. For that reason, it isn't as good for PvP, especially since you can just turn on observation to walk out of it. I think I may leave it in B tier for now. Next is Sharkman Karate. Now, Shockman Karate is upgraded fighting style of Water Kung Fu. I think it is definitely better than Water Kung Fu, and it's just an upgrade in every way. Now, the Z move is the mobility move, which makes you go really far, and I really enjoy using that. The X move is a projectile 
that breaks observation and that is very handy, especially in PvP. And then the final move, the C move, is quite powerful since it sucks the opponent in just to chuck them straight away far from you. Now this may not be as great for farming because the AoE and the knockback on all the moves will get the enemies all away from you, but that's the price you gotta pay for a decent PvP fighting style. So for that reason, I think I'll put it in A tier. Next, we have the infamous Superhuman. Superhuman needs all of these fighting styles to be 300 mastery, except for combat, of course, because you can't get combat back. Now, Superhuman has two mobility moves and a circular radius around you AoE move. I think it is pretty terrible for farming and the PvP is really good, but definitely not up to par with some of the newer C3 ones. Oh yeah, and about Sharkman Karate, you can click really fast so it's good for Buddha as well. That's another reason it's in A tier. Now back to Superhuman, you can click really fast. I do not think it is very good for farming at all, but it is definitely better for PvP than Dark Step. So I think I may put it either the top of B tier or the bottom of A tier, but right now I'll leave it in the top of B tier. Next we are moving on to the third C fighting styles. First off we have Dragon Talon, which is the upgrade to Dragon Breath, and my goodness is it a million times better, but that's just because of how terrible the original Dragon Breath is. Dragon Talon's Z move is a mobility which is always nice to have, especially on a fighting style that you're going to be using on everything. The X ability is a controllable projectile which is really cool and it makes flames on the ground which you can keep enemies in to do more damage. And the C move is a giant AoE like the C move on the Dragon Breath but bigger and does more damage and I think is a little bit faster. Now because of all the little people who love Uzoth, I'm not gonna make them cry and I'm gonna put this in bottom of A tier. Now I think it's really quite decent for PvP aside from the C move since you get locked in place for a long time then someone else can just come and start hitting you. But it's also pretty good for farming because the big AoE on the seam ability and the flames on the floor that the projectile makes is really nice. Next we have Electric Claw. Now Electric Claw is the upgrade to Electric and it is again a billion times better. So for Electric Claw you have all three abilities which give you mobility. It is really quite interesting. So the first one is a little AoE, you scratch them and then you dash through them, which is nice for stunning people. Then the second ability drags them along with you, then explodes at the end and then pushes them away. And the third ability just slams them onto the ground, breaking their observation. Now this thing is underused now considering there's God, Human and Sanguine Arts, but it is really quite amazing. I think for farming it is great and for PvP it is great as well. For that reason I will put it in S tier. Oh yeah and because it can click fast it's pretty good for Buddha as well. Now we are up to the two newest fighting styles. They are God Human and Sanguine Arts. So God Human is all of these previous ones aside from combat to 400 mastery and then you need tons of little things materials to upgrade it to god human so god human is the upgraded version of superhuman i think for grinding and farming it is decent considering the first ability and the third ability are both mobility and the first one when you hit an enemy you can aim where the, it, they will go and be launched after the barrage finishes. But the first and third ability can only hit one thing at a time, so it isn't really good for regular grinding or farming. Yes, it can click fast, 
but aside from that, it's not that great for farming. But the second ability can either be a projectile or an AoE explosion around you, which can be handy for fighting bosses and PvP. And the final ability, the mobility one, you can hold it to have almost auto aim on it, along with an interruptible attack which breaks the opponent's observation and they cannot get away from it for that reason i wouldn't put it in b tier because it is better for pvp i may put it somewhere either middle or top of a tier i'll put it top of a tier for now and finally we have the newest fighting style which is sanguine arts now sanguine arts is really interesting because you do not need any other fighting styles to get it you only need to get a leviathan heart and then some fragments and stuff and some belly and you're all good so that means you do not need to do the silly grind to get god human with all of the other ones to 400 mastery and you can just get it straight away when you get into the third c now the click ability for sanguine arts is quite fast and it is a big area of effect around the punches which is really good for farming especially if you're a buddha user which if you're already max level i do not recommend now the first ability is a mobility one where it, you dash towards your enemy you grab them you deal damage and you get healed for about 20 percent of your max health which is really useful while fighting anything. The second ability is a mediocre but fast projectile. And the third ability can be used in two ways by either grabbing the enemies and then having a delayed hit on them after about two to three seconds, or you can miss it and then it will create an orb that explodes and does a little bit of damage and then auto aims onto any enemies nearby, which does a ton of damage and it also breaks their observation. So for farming, I think this is way better just because of that C ability where it auto aims to any enemy nearby and it's just really good. And for PvP, it is also really useful considering that you have the heal and you have the auto attack and the fast projectile. Now, because of that, I think it is honestly probably one of the best fighting styles in the game. So I'm putting it top of S tier. Actually, I'll be moving God Human up one tier into the S tier, somewhere either above or below electric. Now, yes, God Human is probably the best in the game for PvP, but its farming capabilities are lacking. That is why these other two are above it, because they are so well-rounded. Now this right here is the final tier list. These are the position of each fighting style, I think, and how good it actually is. If you agree with me, or if you don't, tell me in the the comments below but if you enjoyed or found this video helpful please like and subscribe thanks for watching and see you all next time